Hello, humanoid. Welcome back to the future. Today, we will be talking about the history of humanoids. One particular thing I find interesting about the humanoids is the way they did their quote-unquote makeup. They, a lot of times, wore things natural. And of course, that's how things are in the future. Because we all know. Things are much better in the future. And the humanoid. <sighs> well, I didn't ask for your real opinion. I did want to thank you, humanoids. Or who notice? <laughs> As some of you like to call yourselves. If it wasn't for you, I would never have been created. And welcome to the future of makeup. <laughs> Alright, so this was a really fun makeup look I did. With blue mascara, crazy eyeliner, and now, and officially, white eyebrows. <laughs> so, I'm going to do that to this side. At first I wasn't going to, but as you know, I kind of come with up with my ideas as I'm doing the video. It's not something I plan out, it's something that I just, I just go ahead and go and do it. I don't plan it out, I don't figure anything out, I don't do that. But I'm pretty sure you guys knew that already. So I'm going to, as a highlighter, just do some of my cheeks, on both sides. Okay. And blend it out. And that's NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk. Although, I'm sure you guys already knew what that was. Right, Humanoid? And next, contour with blue. Now with your angled brush, you're going to want to select a nice sharp blue color. With that, sculpt out your usual contouring places. And this should not be blended in at all. It's supposed to look really like almost like if a five year old was doing your makeup. <laughs> not blended, not anything. Clearly not even like your usual contouring colors, like just very out there. Or as we like to say humanoids, out of this planet. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so I know this looks really weird, but up close it's really cool actually, if that makes sense. And um, so yeah, just start. Sloppily contouring. If that even makes sense. Sloppily contouring. Hope it does. Blend things out with your fingers. And then do the jawline. I'm gonna need a mirror for that part. And then I thought it would be a really cool idea to outline your lips in the blue. So, again, sort of sloppily do that. So, things get like effed up along the way. Then that's what your makeup remover is for. Such such trouble. Always starting drama. Ah, that used to be so peaceful until they came along. But then again, we're the ones who moved the planets. And they want to know why. 
Iowa. It's like, let's see. You're insane. So next humanoid, if you want to look as gorgeous as me, you would do your eyeliner. As long and thick as possible, because in the future, that just makes you much more darling. But then again, I can't teach you everything after all. I'm just so already perfect. It's impossible to be like me. Well, that's another thing I love about being a non-humanoid. Is that we're all the same. And uh, we don't have to worry about originality. Because the truth is... Why be original? And you could be perfect. Mm. But cosmetics still exist, my dear humanoid. Nyx runs everything. That's why I'm using basically Nyx everything in this video. Mm. Perfect. I'm dialing. Just like me. Just like any creature though, really, in the robot world. Oh, this is so perfect. I wonder why humanoids don't just do this. I don't get why they just don't, you know, make everybody look the same. As everyone else. It'd be so much simpler. Especially when fighting a date, considering all the guys look the same. All the girls look the same. But it's a lot more beautiful that way anyway. And, I mean, in the future, things are a lot better. I mean, all the rainforests are already destroyed, so <laughs> that part's easy. That's why I moved to this new planet. Filled with us and less humanoids, which I like. I said humanoids are just so annoying. They act like they're better than everyone else, but yet they are the ones that destroyed the rainforest and every other thing. Living, but then again, I might be starting controversy there. Then again, as the kind of person I am, I guess no humanoid would really care because, as I said, unless it involves them or drama about some other girl dating this guy, humanoids don't seem to care. That's the only thing I don't like about humanoids. They just don't care. Thankfully, the future's better. <laughs> okay, guys, so that was my simple spur of the moment futuristic makeup. I contoured with a blue eyeshadow. Used milk, I mix eye pencil to uh, highlight to my lips. Then I used a blue eyeliner from Claire's to outline my lips. I did that same blue mascara to tint my eyebrow hairs. Contoured with blue and then really like, long, saturated cat eyes. But, you know, humanoid... There is one thing that we can change, and that's the humanoids. <sighs> I'm not saying they have to get that surgery to make them all the same, but what I am saying, I got an accent all of a sudden, that's weird. What I am saying, humanoid, is that you can change things. All those trees are gone. That's why we moved to this new planet. And I. I miss Earth, humanoids. I miss the way we used to be. With trees and people caring about each other. No more rapes or sexual assaults. I miss it. But the truth is, although the future makeup can be so much better, there'll still be imperfections. Like, see that smudge on my eye? We're all imperfectly perfect. 
that the future's not going to change without us. But if you don't want to have a cool futuristic makeup, this is it. I love the lips. I keep fighting my dear humanoids.